up. Let's see. A. I got people here. This is good. I'm gonna. Okay. Oh yay. All right, Melissa. I see. I see you. Okay. Cool. I can. I can see the question box. And I'm gonna cover up the camera because it's. It's really distracting to see myself on camera. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. I'm <coughs> still. Yay. Okay. Kristen is here. Tracy. Excellent. All right, I'm going to get going. I'm going to introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. Welcome to the second Brain Burps About Books Lunch and Learn Q&A. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Katie Davis. I'm an author and an illustrator of children's books. I've published picture books and novels traditionally for uh, publishers such as Harcourt and HarperCollins and Simon & Schuster. And soon Diversion Books is going to publish my YA. I'm very excited about that. <clears throat> and I've published a picture book and a couple of marketing guides independently. And I host the podcast Brain Burps About Books going on four years now. I can't even believe that. About the craft and business of children's publishing. And because I'm a writer and an illustrator and a video marketing maven, uh, I'm and a writer in business helping other writers. I've kind of started calling myself a writerpreneur. And I started this weekly 15-minute Q&A for your benefit. So ask away. And I am, uh, let's see, let's see if I can, okay, answered. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm waiting for the questions to roll in. And while I'm waiting for that, I am going to uh, just catch you up from what I did last week. So last week I talked about platform a bit and how it's basically just communication and communication um, should be about transparency and just being who you are online. I think it's the best way that... Um, let's see, somebody said that the video... The video is not showing up on the event page, only on YouTube. So somebody told me this, uh, Julie Headland. Thank you, Julie. So if you can't see me, uh, if you're on the event page and you, can, you can't see me, that is not good. Um, hmm. So I'm going to give you a link to go to YouTube. That's, hmm. Let's see, how can I tell you? Um, all right, view and go here to watch. All right, sorry, I don't know why I don't know why the video is not working. Why is the video not working? That's really weird. Oh wait, how about this? I don't know if this will work, but. We'll see. No, that's not going to work. Um, why would the video not be working? Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Sorry, everybody. Let's see. Let's see if I can just do one more thing. Invite. I'm going to post that invitation. All right. So I'm getting questions. Okay, so now Julie says, never mind, I think you have to click Google Plus from YouTube in order to get the Q&A. Okay, she says, never mind, I panicked for nothing. All right, here we go, we're going to continue. So Melissa Rice says, is self-hosting on WordPress difficult? Can a totally new blogger handle it? It's WordPress is so easy, plus I highly recommend a fantastic blog called um, Word wpbeginner.com. They have everything on there. It's so fantastic. You can learn so much. wpbeginner.com. Go there. It's like going to WordPress University. You can learn everything. I love it. I learn things there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you think, Krista asked, do you think a traditional publisher would ever take on a completed picture book? author and illustrator worked together and created the book. It's done. Well, you know, I'm really um, here to ask, I thought this was going to be about marketing, but I'll, I'll try to answer that. Um, hold on, where is that? Where is that? Where did the question go? Oh, here. Uh, this, is, this is new for me, and these are going quickly. 
Hold on. Where did it go? Where did you go? Oh, here we go. Select. Oh my god, these are going so fast. Sorry, guys. I'm new at this. Um, there it is. Ha! Got it. See, it goes up to the top. All right, do you think a traditional publisher would ever take on a completed picture book, author and illustrator, work together, and created the book? It's done. If it's fabulous, I think a publisher would love it. If it's not fabulous, then they might say, well, um, you know, we love the pictures, but we don't really love the the writing, or the writing's great, the, the illustration's not so much. So I would say in your cover letter, we are willing to... Um, separate if you are strong enough to do that if both of you agree in advance look if they don't like your writing if they don't like your illustration let's tell them in the cover letter if you like one and don't like the other we're willing for you to reject one over the other uh, and that's hard to take that's that's a not an easy thing to agree to um, and it can cause rifts in friendships or working relationships but if you can take that great, more power to you and one of you can get published. Um, but if it's, listen, there are rules until there aren't, there's a reason to break them. Okay, so if, if something is if fantastic and a publisher is in business, so if they think they're going to do well with something, they're going to take it. Okay, so there, I hope that helps. Let's see. <clears throat> Uh, next question, platform building. Which social media have you found best to use to market myself, to market yourself, from Tracy? Uh, I think that the best thing for me has been absolutely without question video. And that's why I created Video Idiot Bootcamp, because I wanted to share that information with people. Um, and I truly believe it is the way of the future. I, if you can learn it yourself, great. If you want to learn it from me, great. But learn it because, you know, Cisco Systems says this. Everywhere I look says this. Video will be the way that the internet is going to be run. If it isn't already, um, I think that the that the um, this is, statistic that Cisco system says is in the next three years, and I don't know if they said this three years ago or, or they just said it, but 90% of all online traffic will be through video. So it's crazy. I mean, and if you keep it short and you learn how to do it well and it's snappy, video. So, and I get, I get, I have something like 50 or 60,000 views of my videos on my YouTube channel and I get so much traffic from the videos. So, and YouTube is a social network, and YouTube is the second largest search engine. And who owns YouTube? Google. And Google is the largest search engine. So, and this is video. What I'm doing right now is video, and this is going live onto my YouTube channel. So, yeah, video. Um, okay. Let's see next. Um, who is next? Who is next? On the YouTube, let's see. I'm on the YouTube page and see the conversation sidebar. Yay. Thanks, Lynn Kelly. Um, okay. Possible topic for me today. If a writer is previously unpublished and working on a manuscript, when should they start worrying about platform? First of all, don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> you don't need to worry, Kristen. I do think that you should start taking care of your platform right away. I mean, I really believe that if you're pre-published, uh, not unpublished, pre-published, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, that I do think, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it is never too so soon to start building your platform. And there are plenty of writers. I'm going to a, um, a retreat this weekend that I love. I've been going to for many years. And I do think that a lot of people, I've heard many people say, I, you know, you spend too much time 
worrying about your platform and social media, la la la. But and it's you should worry about your craft. You should absolutely worry about your craft. There is no doubt. You can't you can't not worry about your craft. However, this is a business. This is something. This is part of your job as a writer. There is we're no longer in a business where you can not worry about your platform. And this is part of your job, just like, as I said last week, and I will say it over and over again, you know, doing your, doing your, um, your tax forms is part of your job if you're an accountant or, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a, um, I'm not a person who, who works in a, in a corporation. So, you know, you're, what are those horrible parts? of a job in when you're in a corporation your your travel forms you know where you have to fill out all your your travel forms or you know whatever those things are so I think that it's a part of your job you gotta do and if you don't like doing it it's too bad you gotta do it and so you start communicating you have a blog you you have um, Twitter account you you do Facebook you ha you need to do some or all of those things and you keep your hand in you do the bare minimum if you don't like doing it and you get involved with the with your your peeps you know you make you make it's like going to a party you just you're at a cocktail party you have fun you don't think this is fun this is so much fun you're meeting people that's all it's not it's not a it's not horrible you're meeting people you're meeting people who love what you do you're talking to people you're talking about your passion Okay, enough on that little soapbox. All right, writing is a craft, storytelling is an art, publishing is a business. Chuck Wendig, that's what Julie Hedlund says. Go, Julie. That's what I say, I, I agree. Tracy Cox said, thanks, smiley face. You're welcome, smiley face back at you. <laughs> um, Okay, Lisa B. Marshall said she had to log out, log into Google+, Plus, then go back to the event page. Thanks for being here, Lisa B. Marshall. You guys, Lisa has a great uh, podcast, and it's called, ah, Lisa, tell me the name of your new podcast again, because I'm blanking out. I am so sorry. Shh, I'm blanking out because I'm nervous and I'm live. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay. Marcy Fincham, Fincham Atkins said, I think I had to go through Google Plus on YouTube. I couldn't see the questions. Oh, you can see the questions. I didn't even know you could see the questions. Okay. <clears throat> um, we are out of questions. You want, you want me to, to riff? I can riff. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to riff until I get more questions. So... <clears throat> Good, Kristen says she won't worry about platform. She's just gonna have fun. I think that's great. I, it really is fun. It's it's just communication. That's what it is. Um, so I got a question that somebody uh, it might be too long to go into because we only have one minute left. Actually, so. Maybe I won't go into that. I'll save it for next week. Wow, this goes fast, doesn't it? Um, hey, Greg Fishbone. Greg Fishbone is really smart at this stuff. Um, I have to tell you, you should go look him up, okay? And he is in my book, How to Promote Your Children's Book, and I'm just about to relaunch it. And that is one thing I'm going to plug right now. Thanks for reminding me, Greg, because you're in the, in the book. Um, and it's called How to Promote Your Children's Book. Tips, tricks, and secrets to to create a bestseller. I don't even know my own title, and it's um, really great because the second edition is huge. I've got like five or six new chapters, tons of stuff. Oh, um, I'll get to that, Lisa. Tons of stuff, and I'm about to uh, create my new launch team to promote it. And if you guys want to know about how to launch your own books, I have a Really cool idea. You can sign up at katydavis.com slash HTP sign up. So if you go there, you can sign up and you'll be able to follow along and find out how you can launch your books. And it's, I've got, uh, you'll get a copy of the book too. You'll get a, a, a review copy. So you'll, you'll see it all. So, uh, okay. 
I will take questions in advance if you want, and when things get slow, I will um, address them first. And I am so happy you guys came along. It, I'm keeping this to 15 minutes, and thank you so much for coming. I'm doing this every week. I'm posting these videos on my playlist, which is called Lunch and Learn, on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash books, all one word. And I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for coming. See ya. Oh, oh, sorry, i got to tell you one more thing. Sorry. Lisa B. Marshall, Smart Talk, Inspiring Conversations with Exceptional People. Now I'll see ya. Bye. This was too fast.